This is the Millican oil drop apparatus. Uh, I'll just start to explain uh, the things here. Th this is going to be the light source uh, that's going to shoot the light in between the, the chamber. It's a halogen light. I'm going to turn it off for now so we don't make it too hot. Uh, by the way, uh, why are we doing this experiment, Doc? Oh, we're doing this experiment to determine that the charges on electrons are specifically quantized in in um, they are uh, uh, they come in chunks of the fundamental electron charge unit and also um, once you determine that number um, once you determine little e which is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs you recall experiment you did in, in physics 172 or 152 where you measured the charge to mass ratio of the electron. So if, if you know the, uh, from the milk and oil drop experiment, if you know the electron charge and you know the charge to mass ratio, uh, th th then you can determine the, the mass of the electron. Right. And uh, that's, that's really uh, interesting. And the charge of the electron or even the quantization of the electron, it wasn't known in the early 20th century, was it? So basically, Millikan was one of the first people who actually showed it and then did this experiment and then he won the Nobel Prize for it. That's correct. Yeah. So this is actually a very elaborate uh, experiment. Uh, yeah. yeah. And we are hoping we will be able to get this experiment working today. It's, it's a Nobel Prize winning experiment and it's not that easy. It's actually kind of... No, we've been here most of the day and we're yeah. just getting started on... Uh, on filming and we still have to get the experiment running right. but anyways this is this is going to be the light source and it's going to shoot light into the chamber and then we can connect it and and yeah i, I showed them that already it'll oh it's, just, it. it's a simple it's yeah. a simple connection to get the light we'll, we'll disconnect it now because uh, we got a lot mm -hmm. to talk about before we actually run the experiment um, this is the chamber but uh, this this thing right here is going to look at, into the chamber it's a it's a little magnifying it's a microscope microscope right? yeah mm -hmm. that so we're going to be able to see these little ball of uh, balls spheres of oil falling in free fall and then we'll turn the electric field on them and, and show them rising up or rising down or moving down even quicker um the, the this these two wires here are going are going to go to this uh power supply which is going to give us between 0 and 500 volts and this switch here is going to um enable us to either ground the plates together or uh, change the polarity of the plates. In other words, make the bottom plate. If the bottom plate is negative, then the, uh, and the, and the, the oil droplets are charged yeah, negatively. Say there are they will shoot, shoot. plates yeah. in there, right? Yeah, like yeah. yeah. we're going to take it apart to show you that. Um, but this is the chamber. And then these two wires here are, 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 are we have two wires here going to measure the voltage directly on this voltmeter here. You can see over here, uh, we have a voltmeter here that's going to measure the voltage on the plates for us, even though the meter on the power supply will give us an approximate number. And this thing here is going to measure resistance of a, a, thermistor. a thermistor, which is basically just a, a temperature-dependent resistor inside the chamber. chamber. So by reading this uh, resistance, you can convert it to a, um, a temperature exactly. And this table will be in, your, in the PDF. This table here is replicated. Uh, for for resistance in mega ohms corresponding to temperature in degrees Celsius, that's replicated in your uh, uh, lab handout that that Dr. Estrogen has prepared for you. So let me take the chamber apart so you can see what's inside. This thing here is just a a, a acrylic cap on the on the entire chamber. There's a hole here that we will later uh, squirt oil into that hole with this. A simple, it looks like a little perfume bottle. Yeah. Um, you, you, you squeeze on this. And Except it, there's oil in it. And there's oil, so we don't want to squirt it just a second. Let me set that over here out of our way. Um, but anyways, let me take let me take apart and this for chamber. for oil, so we are using this mineral oil, which is basically uh, distilled from, uh, you know, petroleum. Yeah. Um, and, and Dr. Estrogen, please pause me whenever I forget to say something as I just did um, yeah. this is the just the acrylic cap on the chamber I'm gonna set that over here 
Um, this this cylinder is basically a it's it's just sort of surrounding everything. I'm going to lift it up, and so you can see here this this uh, this is the top electric plate uh, uh, capacitor plate, um, and there's a there's a there's a there's a little uh, it has a tiny little pinhole in the top of it. Um, if you zoom way in there, you see a little pinhole at the center of this thing here. And this thing here is uh, just going to go over that pinhole. And it has a hole uh, that rests over the pinhole. And there's a, there's a vacuum. There's a, a space that goes up to the side. It looks like a little blow hole on the side. And so when we blow the oil in here through the aspirator, some of the, the oil sort of undergoes Brownian motion in there, and, and, and it'll go in through this side hole, and some of it will diffuse down into the, 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 the volume between the plates. And so that, that's what this thing here is. Now, I'm going to set that over here and out of the way. I'm going to take the top plate off. This is the top plate. You can see it's got a tiny pinhole. Let me see if I can actually zoom on You it. might even be able to see that pinhole. Yeah, they can see it now. Okay. It's very small. Yeah, very small hole, a mm -hmm. fraction of a millimeter. I'm going to set that over here. Um, this thing here is the uh, plastic spacer. It's our insulator. Yeah, it, it, it holds the plates apart. And it determines the distance between them. Right, so if we, if we, uh, if we take a, a, a pair of um, uh, uh, calipers, we can put it in here. And we measure this several times. I think we measure about yeah 7.58 that's what we got it's roughly what we got 7.58 millimeters millimeters mm -hmm. so that's going to be the distance between the plates now there is a ridge here there's a little ridge that that the plates rest into so they have a machined geometry to fit exactly in there so let me By the way, uh, there is a black tape on it which actually helps uh, you know getting the picture um, it basically blocks light so that it's kind of it, um, it blocks uh, uh, ambient light noise from getting in in yeah, the path. Yeah, so it's kind of important for it yeah, to th function. Yeah, that, that that is exactly correct. Let me set that over here. We don't need it now. No, no. What 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 are we looking at now? Well, this is the bottom plate, and it's it's attached to the base. I'm not going to take it off. Um, you'll see right here. I have a like a I have a chrome lever here. Oh. Uh, if you want to come on, up, over my left stuff. shoulder here, there's a chrome lever here. Um, it has three positions. This this position here is called the spray position, and when I'm spraying the oil, and I want it in this position, um, uh, and that's going to allow the oil. That, that's going to when you're spraying, you don't want a bunch of oil to come into this. There's a the thorium source. Uh, a thorium is just a radioactive material that kicks out alpha particles. By the way, uh, in that spray position, apparently it opens a little hole in there so that it can vent. So that kind of that's correct. So that so that you don't you're not spraying a bunch of oil into the chamber and, and having the pressure in the chamber right. build up real high. So so that's what it does, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it does. It's like a blowhole out the bottom. If, if I move it over to the on position, it allows the thorium source to shoot alpha particles into the right. chamber you can see ionization source um, so you'll you'll hold it there for a while to allow uh, this thing right here uh, to you'll it will allow the uh, alpha particles to go into the chamber and they they you know they're they're quickly moving um, they add helium electrons, nuclei, right? so, uh, and, and they they spall they they under, undergo spallation mm -hmm. collision events mm -hmm. in the chamber, which liberates electrons, mm -hmm. and those electrons then piggyback onto the oil. Yeah. And now, if I put it all the way down, you've got plenty of uh, uh, free uh, electrons in there. If I put it in the off position, then it it it, it turns the, the 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 alpha particles beam away. By the way, we should also mention that. Yeah. Uh, the electrons are actually also added through just static electricity when they fall through the air. So we don't need to actually use the source. But we use the source so that uh, when we are viewing a single drop, yeah. we use the source to add additional electrons on it to see how that same drop actually changes its speed when we put more electrons. So what, what we are trying to do, 
we basically, when we are looking at a single drop, we want to be able to manipulate the number of electrons on that. So we put the source on, so it just adds like one or two electrons and then yeah. and then the particle or the oil droplet, right, right. It's, uh, it starts going faster because it Assuming has Assuming we can keep our eye on a single drop yeah. as we're watching this yeah. whole thing happen. I'm going to put this back in the spray droplet position because the first thing we're going to do is get the apparatus together and, and get oil in there. So... Um, and then what does this yeah, thing do? Yes, this thing right here is you want the, the table to be level. So you can see I can adjust the screws. That's a bubble uh, a level there. So I can so adjust. So why, why do you want it to be level? Well, you want it to be level so that your camera is going to be seeing up and down vertical right. because you, you're, you're using MG. Right. The force of gravity is going to be perpendicular to this table. And your grid on your your measurement is going to be mm -hmm. vertical parallel. Yeah. You want to parallel the gravity because mm -hmm. gravity is certainly going to push uh, down vertically, and that's going to define our our, our uh, vertical axis of the experiment. So, if this is off, then you're going to see you're going to see oil droplets falling down, but your grid on your on your uh, uh, mask on this little microscope will, will, won't be <laughs> consistent with that mm -hmm. vertical drop. So that's why you want to want this. Uh, you want you want to. So you just these have these adjustment screws to 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 make that as level yeah. as can, okay. we, we can. Okay. Right. So should I assemble it now? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's okay. Go okay. Mm -hmm. So in order to assemble it, then I, I start with my. Um, oh, by my the plastic way, uh, what, what's yeah. this thing here? Now, now that thing there is a. Uh, that's going to allow. It's a. It's it's a. It's a ground for. Isn't it a ground? What is that? Oh, I, I forget what that is. You tell me what that is. Oh, I think I think it's an electric connection for the top plate, right? Because top plate uh, otherwise wouldn't get its electric connection without that. No, it's got that's electrically isolated from the top no, I, plate. I mean, um, I think the top plate touches that actually when you put put it on. That's exactly right because yeah because because that's electrically isolated from this plate and the top. So if this plate is negative, that that little post there mm -hmm. is positive, and when the top plate comes down, it touches it, right. and that's how the top plate gets yeah. its charge. Yeah. You're exactly right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let me let me put this spacer here. Now you see this spacer has a little uh, uh, opening here to see into, and that's going to face into my microscope. It's really the only way this can fit on there, so you, you can't really put it on in the wrong, uh, wrong way a lot of things mechanically machined are like that so that if i try if i tried to go like this and put it on like so it would it wouldn't fit you see it would it wouldn't it wouldn't line up it, it wouldn't be flush so there's only one way it can go and that's like that and now it fits perfectly and indeed that's the way it should be so that that opening little lens there is pointing into my microscope. My microscope line of sight can see. This is my chamber in here where the oil drops will be suspended. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now uh, I can put my, uh, I could take my top plate and put it in there. And as Dr. Estrogen says, when, I, when, that, when that goes in there, it, that, that little post is gonna, is gonna hit it slightly. It's all machined to high tolerance here. To fit perfectly like that so that's going to give me electrical connection to the top plate mm -hmm. to give it its its charge state okay now um there, there's one thing uh, it, to do the experiment i would normally just put put this in here remember this is the this is the, the cap that goes over this hole so that when you squirt the oil in that that, that the, some oil can go through that hole and down out of this hole and into the chamber but before we do that there's a there's a little calibration for focus here, and that's this thing right here. It's a it's it's just a uh, wire, a very thin wire, a fraction of a millimeter, and it, it it's it's going to go in. Did you get a good shot of that? Yeah. Let's see. One you want to focus on it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that okay? Okay. So that that's going to go over here and go into this little hole at the top plate. Okay, and now I'm gonna be able to look through here. I'm gonna look through my eyepiece here, and I'll be able to focus 
uh, sh let, let's show it. Uh, we want to put them, the light uh, on yeah. through the computer, okay? Okay, yeah, let's, let's the cut there and we'll show them. To so the I'm computer. gonna pause the video here and okay. then we okay. are gonna show it on the computer.